Well, we are well into fall, but if we could bring back the flavors of summer, we would all do it in a heartbeat. Our next guest has a solution for that. Chef Carl Heinrich is here with canning tips for tasty preserves on what happens to be, in case you didn't know it, International Canning Day. So happy International Canning yeah, Day, Chef. Yeah, you as well. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> How are we going to celebrate? Uh, well, so we've got a little organic vegetable garden at Richmond Station, and... Um, a lot of these things coming out of the ground now, the last of the beans, the first of the cabbages after the frost, and the best way to preserve them is to can them or but ferment them. I am from the prairies where oh, yeah? canning is a long-held tradition, but let's teach everybody what we can, okay, what so can a few, teach us. Okay, so a few important steps here. One is you need some hot boiling water, okay? Mm -hmm. Sterilize everything. Sterilize the jars, yeah. So hot boiling water, the water needs to be clean, okay? And filtered water works the best for this, that way you don't get all the residue. Right. Hot jars, take the beans and shove as many in there as you can. And do you blanch them or anything first, or no, these are right from the garden? Just straight from the garden. And they need to be washed in case there's any dirt I'm or anything. I'm trying on to them. burn myself on the glass. Don't burn yourself. I'll be super careful. Sign this waiver first, please. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we're going to throw these in. What are you adding to it? Uh, I like them spicy, so we've got Me some too. chili flakes, uh, a little bit of pickling spice as well. Um, you can put whatever you want in there. Yeah. If you like How it really full? spicy, as full as you can. Because they shrink in. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's probably fine. Okay. And then we, the hot brine, okay, so this is just a straight up vinegar brine. So uh, is it just boiled vinegar? Vinegar, filtered water, salt and sugar. Amazing. Okay, and you go till it's right about a quarter inch from the top. Mm -hmm. All right, the idea here is that we're getting rid of all of the air in there, okay? Again, One more lid. sterilization for the lid. A sterilized and, oh wait, lid. And the seal's important. That's the right, so get, poke out. all those little beans down. Yep. Okay, and then you're gonna twist until it's just Finger tight. Okay. Because you want the air to escape, okay? Right. And then back into the boiling pot. Watch yourself, it's a little warm. And then how long do we keep it in there? Ten minutes. Okay. Five to ten minutes. I usually go closer to five, but when the water, if it, see like right now the water's not back up to a boil yet? Right. I'd say start a timer ten minutes. Ten minutes in boiling. Okay. In boiling water. You're going to take it out of the water. And then you have to let it rest. Always use a towel. And then when the, when the top sinks down, yeah. you're good to go. Beautiful. And label. Important to label when you did it. Yeah, otherwise you don't know which ones are which. Exactly. Okay, I have some here for you to taste too. These look beautiful and I love how you've presented them. Thank you. Know you. This is why they're such a good gift because charcuterie boards are very popular, especially over the holiday season. Well, and for me, you gotta can the things that you mm. know you're gonna eat. I know I'm gonna eat beans. My wife loves spicy beans. We'll can these in the last all winter long. In case you're wondering if canning loses a crisp, it does not, because they're still very crunchy. Yes, and I find too, after they come out, they need to rest for a couple minutes, or sorry, a couple weeks. You know, I find two or three weeks and then they're the right amount of pickle. Okay. Sauerkraut, so good Not for us. necessarily canned, but definitely preserved. And this is where the water is really important too, because you need to have clean water. So if you're gonna use a brine, mm -hmm. uh, the water needs to be boiled or it needs to be filtered water, like reverse osmosis or something like that. Okay. So cabbage, I've added some salt to this, and you really just gotta mash it up. And you can see how it's kind of wilted here, right? Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is Throw it into the jar, mm -hmm. and I try not to make a mess on your beautiful set here. It's very no, spooky, that's okay. by the way. Yeah, isn't it? We're getting ready for Halloween. Did you decorate yourself? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're going to cram all of this cabbage into the jar, and the idea here is that we're getting rid of all of the oxygen. Okay. And so I've got this little whatever. Actually, I just found it. Little masher? A little masher. Okay. Push right. it on in. All the way down. Okay. And then you want to try to have a little sort of seal there. So I've got some little rings of cabbage. Aren't those cute? They are very cute. And we're going to put those on top. Okay. And what's the purpose of that? Because we, we don't want the little bits of cabbage to float to the surface. Oh, right. right. Okay, that's smart. And then some salt water brine. So again, this needs to be filtered water, mm -hmm. or it needs to be water that has been boiled. And then a little weight. And you can see that all the cabbage is now submerged. Now, the fun part about this is that it's not going to be boiled. It's not going to be cooked at all. It's raw and it's gonna be cooked by lactic acid, by fermentation. Ooh. So you put this into your cellar, two weeks, okay. three weeks, depends how acidic you like it, and that's what it's gonna turn out to be. Does it have to be cold, does it have to be dark? Where you cool, even... cool and dark. Cool and dark. Yeah, and then once it's fermented. I wanna try some. Once it's fermented, it will be. Um, this is why it's so good for us, it'll good be for good your gut health, right? It's very good, it's full of prebiotics and probiotics, and uh, you just try it on its own too. I but. Am. This is more fun to try it this way. Before I take a mouthful, I'm going to say you can find all of these recipes mm. uh, on Your Morning's website, yourmorning.ca. Chef, thanks for coming in today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Iron, try some. Hang on. Oh, it's good. You have to have it with the hot dog. <laughs> I'm channeling my inner Ben Mulroney.